Now today, I'm going to teach you the right way to say hello to a doggy that's walking on the street, okay? Um, when I work with dogs, I'm a dog trainer, so I work with a lot of doggies every day. I walk dogs out on the street, and the biggest thing is we have children like you that come running up to the dog, and you have to be really careful because you don't know if Bobby's afraid of you or not, and that happens a lot. So I'm going to teach you the right way to say hello. I'm also going to tell you the right way if, if, if I ask someone, can I pet your doggy, and they say no, don't be upset because that's for your protection. Because this doggy could bite you. It could be very afraid of little children and, and we want to be safe around animals, right? We want to say hi the right way. Now if you're outside and you see someone walking their doggy on the leash, you want to make sure and say, excuse me, can I please pet your dog? And they'll either say yes, you can, or no, you can't. Now if they say yes, you can, and the dog is showing any of these signs, you need to be careful. The dog could be cowering, which is kind of doing this a little bit. Or the dog could be really nervous and kind of do this. You know, like when you're afraid of the dog, you're, you, you kind of go, Dogs sometimes do that too, but they do it in a different way. They can't say, I'm afraid. So you need to watch their body language and their behavior so you know when it's appropriate to say hi. This kind of shows you an idea of a scared doggy. You see how he's hunched over like that? This doggy you wouldn't want to run up to and say hello because it could, it could possibly bite you and you don't want to get bit. You gotta be safe around doggies. Then there's this one right here. This is actually an angry doggy. You see the face on the angry see his dog? Face. You don't want to come up to these dogs either. Because that could be really unsafe. Okay. See this is a this is a I'm very comfortable face. And that would be I'm not happy. Yeah. I'm gonna bite you. <laughs> I'm gonna give Bobby a treat. Because he's being so so well behaved. Now my assistant Lori here is gonna, she's gonna act like she's a person walking her dog on the street. And I'm gonna show you an example of how to say hello, okay? Now she may say yes or no, so depending on what she says, I need to listen to her because this is her doggy. If I'm on the street, I don't know her dog, okay? Hello, oh my goodness, what a cute little puppy. Do you think I can say hello to him? No, I would really rather you didn't say hello today. Oh, okay, I understand. Thank you anyway. Now, you want to thank them anyway because they have their reasons why they don't want you to say hello. The dog could be afraid. Uh, there could be any, any number of reasons. They could be sick. Yeah, they could be sick too. Yep, sometimes you don't know. That's why you need to ask. You always want to ask. Now, I'm going to give you another example. And I'm going to show you the appropriate way to say hello. I want you to watch me and my body language. Oh my goodness, what a cute little puppy. Can I say hello to him? Yes, you may. Oh, thank you very much. Hello, Bobby. Hi. You see how I'm giving him my side like this? I'm not coming at him straight on. This is very, very good to approach a dog like that because they could be scared if you're leaning over like this. And he's, a, he's very good, though. <laughs> if you're leaning over like this, that's very, very scary to a dog. That's like me coming up to you and saying, oh, hi, how are you? Oh, my goodness. That's kind of scary, isn't it? <laughs> that feels a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah. So she said that I can say hello. I'm going to say hello to Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Hi. And I'm going to let him smell me. And I'm going to let him come to me and say hi. See how he's, see how he's very friendly? He's wagging his tail. He's not cowering or shaking or anything. What a good boy. This is a very nice dog. Thank you for letting me say hello. You're welcome. Now, if Bobby was pulling back on the leash when I came at him, I would take a step back. I don't want to approach him unless he comes to me. Okay? Even if I have a treat in my hands, if the doggy doesn't want to take the treat from me, I don't want to 
force it in his face because he may not want that treat for me. He might be afraid. And he might be okay. scared. Yeah, he and he should be afraid. What was that, sweetie? He might give it to somebody else and that's right. I was going to. Thank you very much. If you guys look at everything, everything here is a yes. Showing any of the signs, he might be afraid. And the 
he's very good with little kids, but this is a lot for him to take in. He's still a very young puppy. So we want to be very, want to approach very calmly. Don't, don't yell or anything. Just talk to him nicely. Hello, Bobby. How are you? And then you can give him a treat if you like. And then you guys are all going to get a sticker and a card to take home. Sound good? Yeah, I always 